Really? <laughs> we went right into recording? Well, I, I set it up so it would do it automatically. <laughs> okay. So, uh, because I, I forget all the time, so it does it automatically. <laughs> let me, uh, let's go live. That's good to know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you well, better be ready. When you go, when you log on. What's that? I said, I guess you better be ready when you log on. Yeah. Well, I um, usually I shut it off because I'm waiting for you. <laughs> so, um, okay. We're just we're almost there. Almost there. <laughs> okay. So, hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? We live on. Are we live? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I just got back from uh, uh, a final walkthrough, so I've run in a few minutes late, but uh, um, I'm good. I, I realized I hadn't talked to you since uh, um, last time, last our last podcast, right? I see Oki on the bed behind you. Yep. Yeah, he's he's he has he enjoying his vacation? He likes it. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he likes the walks in the desert a lot. Yeah, and I bet he, he, I bet he's having fun with his cousins. So. <laughs> he doesn't Similar. care about that. He doesn't care about that. Usually, dogs are pack animals, don't they? Like, don't they like to be around? Oh, we are his pack. He has no dogs in his pack. Oh, you and, you and Stump are his pack. Yeah, exactly. So, does he ignore the other dogs, or? Yeah, kinda. He just doesn't really care or pay too much attention to them. Yeah. Are they are they the same way? Kinda, because they're both like attached to my mom at the hip or at the ankle. Yeah, they can't <laughs> they can't get more than a few. And they're attached to each yeah. other, I guess, yeah. too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So their pack is your mom and and each other. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he wants actually every every night here and at home. He wants to go to bed before we're ready. But he wants us all to go together. He wants us all. So he'll finally go to bed, lay in there for a little while. Then he'll come out and stand at the doorway and stare at us. Like, <laughs> like well, what's going on, guys? <laughs> you coming to bed, you know? <laughs> we'll keep doing that till we finally go to bed. And then he can relax and go to sleep. He needs us in the room with him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> But how does, so does, is is he going to bed earlier? I mean, because of the time change or no? Uh, not necessarily, but even at home, he he's kind of ready for bed before we are. Yeah, so he's- But I was, but I was gonna say, actually, he should be wanting to go to bed later because you're an hour earlier, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. So, so if you normally go to bed, say at 11 here in Chicago- mm -hmm. That's 10 here. That's 10 here. So, right? So he wouldn't want to go to bed. He he pretty much adjusted to time changes very quickly though. Even yeah. at home. Yeah, like uh when you do like daylight savings and back, it's like doesn't bother him. No, pretty much one day and he's back to normal, expecting his food at the right time and all that. Yeah. Wow. He's such a smart dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, if I ever showed shared that cartoon with you. Uh, there's the two little dogs waiting, you know, going off daylight savings. They're going on daylight savings, and they're waiting for their dinner. And and uh, they're like, "Now explain this thing about the time change again." <laughs> and and I, I think there's something like it's an hour later. What? That's messed up, or something like. Yeah, that. it's like that. That that's BS. <laughs> No, they don't do daylight savings here. So, oh, that's right. Tucson doesn't do that. Yeah. So I don't, I think it's all of Arizona. I, I, just, yeah. No, no, no. I meant, I meant all of Arizona. It doesn't go on daylight savings, which yeah, so pretty really soon, messes things up. So know. when, when California goes on daylight savings, you're on California time. Uh, right. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, pretty soon though, we'll go from one hour difference than Chicago to two hour difference. And then they'll be on, on West Coast time. Yeah. Wait a minute. 
the equivalent of West Coast time. It, it's the other way, right? Nope. That's right. Right now, and we'll be two hours behind Chicago, just like LA or whatever. Uh, yeah, come daylight savings. Because you don't go on daylight savings, and and LA does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so what else? What else is new? What 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 good stuff do we have to talk about today? Last week we were talking about the guy who has eighteen year old eyes. Oh yeah. <laughs> did you ever? Uh, did you ever well, do any more looking at eighteen year old everything? Well, I know, but you said so far he's accomplished having eighteen year old eyes. No, I don't think it. I don't. Well, I don't think it was his eyes. It was other stuff. But I thought um, you said it was his eyes. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. I'll to, did you ever look up the article? I didn't. I didn't. You know, um, I, I actually had work to do. <laughs> well, that's uh it's well not at the moment but it's kind of it's raining here this is the first rain i've ever seen in tucson as much time as i've spent here well it's so not a, it, is it a heavy rain or a heavy down no 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 just kind of it's been kind of off and on this morning huh. um yeah like even when i spent the whole month here that time not a single drop of right of rain. but um yeah it's interesting well, I, I told you about my my client who was in Mexico when they were having the atmospheric rivers on the west coast, and apparently he was in the in 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 Senado, which is in the Baja uh, Peninsula, and and they were experiencing some of that as well. And um, yeah, they the desert. Now got my got my Dutch brother's coffee. Oh, is that is that a Tucson thing? Well, they're here, but they're also in Tulsa now. So I don't know where all they they are. Um, I'm not sure where they're from, but um, yeah, we've seen them in a few places. But they're they they opened in Tulsa in the last year or two as well. Oh, hmm. But it's it's really popular, and they're only drive-throughs. Although they told me today that there's one in Scottsdale that has, or they're only drive-throughs or walk-up window. There's no indoor, but they crank them out they have the double they have double drive throughs and they have people actual persons that stand out in the in the lines and do all of the orders on a tablet and then by the time you get to the window they're handing it to you but they're all like friendly and chatty and talking and like you know playing with oki and they give them a puppuccino but uh every yeah they're they're that's kind of their shtick is it's I, th I think the coffee's pretty good too but it's like uh they're like fun huh <laughs> them, they don't they're not baristas they're they're bro broristas <laughs> they're bro oh bro baristas <laughs> oh, <laughs> they have like the broista only entrance at the buildings and stuff like that <laughs> huh, they, um, even in the rain today they are standing out there in the lines with their tablets with little covers on them and uh, huh. doing all the orders that way, but um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. They they so do so you don't have like a like like McDonald's or Starbucks or something where you drive up to a panel and order. There there are these. No. There's no panels. Yeah, they have panels, but they're just for like showing. So you can look at the menu. Or, yeah, showing specials and stuff like that. There's no no speaker phones on them or anything. So. Yeah, you you talk to the person, the the people that are standing out there in the driveways, and they kind of go back and forth between the cars. And then when it, after they take your order, they'll kind of walk as you're paying. They'll walk you, you know, as you drive. They kind of walk with you up toward the window and stuff as you pay and all that. How many people do they have doing this? Well, they have two at a time that are doing on the outside. They have quite a crew on the inside. I don't know how often they switch off or whatever, but huh. it's yeah, it's a pretty uh impressive production <laughs> well the I, I i almost never go to mcdonald's but for whatever reason in the last couple of months i've been into uh two or three different mcdonald's and um they um uh they 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 have these kiosks where you go and you or you don't order from a person now you, you, they have these kiosks that you order from and pay. And if you're going to sit in the restaurant, you're supposed to put a table number. 
I don't know. It's Taco Bell's like that too. I can't say that. I mean, so so they're eliminating needing more people at the cash register, but um, you know, those people know how to operate the the, the push buttons. <laughs> it takes me so long to you know to go in and order what I want, whether they just tell this person and she pushes the buttons. And um, Panera Bread is doing that too, where you can order from their little kiosk or whatever um, yeah. which which i will do if there's a long line but generally i find it's faster to just order from the person because they're 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 um you know they know they know the buttons to push <laughs> well, it's just like the self-checkout at all the grocery stores and everything. yeah i'm getting better at that i'm getting better at that but uh um yeah i know yeah it is exactly exactly like that so i don't know uh, taco bell have you have you been to any of the taco bell cantinas mm -mm. uh there there was one on chicago avenue but they they decantinaized it well what, what's the difference around. it's uh they bring it to the table like i think on dishes but they also have booze so they have like beer and margaritas and stuff too. Well, I'm it's sure that that one too. over by the ballpark, you know, they tore down, they tore down the, at, by Wrigley Field, I'm talking. There was that McDonald's on the corner of uh, Clark and Addison. They tore that down, of course, and built the Hotel Zachary there. And then across the street where the Taco Bell was, um, they built like a four or five story um uh, well, the, there's a Chase. I think Taco Bell is still in there. And then they uh, on the upper floors is a gym. They have an entrance at the street level, but you go up and it's like a three-story gym. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, mm -hmm. But that, that was... Hmm? Is it Berries? The gym? Yeah. The Berries? Is it Berries, gym? B-A-R? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, um, I can't think of the name of it. Um, anyway, they have a climbing wall and they have a they have yoga studios. I mean, you know, it's and I think it's twenty four hours at gym. But but I, I I don't know if that Taco Bell. I mean, the Taco Bell had been there forever, of course, because of the ballpark. And now they're in that building, the new building. When they tore the building down that the Taco Bell was sitting on, they 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 have. Um, one of the spaces. I've seen that, but I haven't been in it yet. Yeah. I haven't been in it either, but I, I'm assuming that that's a canteen. I would assume. Probably that. not, because I think that's built, I think that's made to crank numbers in and out of there as fast as possible. <laughs> oh, well, that could be. And there's plenty of opportunity to get booze everywhere yeah. else. In the neighborhood. <laughs> I bet it's, it's not a sit and hang out sort of style yeah but, the, but that that complex on the south side of addison uh across like directly across the street um from the ballpark uh they have like a um, do right donuts and they there there's actually a starbucks in there but again it's like what you're saying about the uh, don't about your um your dutch brothers it's it's uh there's no you just go in and order off a kiosk and they bring it out to you they're like um what do they call those um, where um, where they share, like they have these different, um, like Panera will share a kitchen with, and you just go in and you order from the different. Yeah. You know, like a, uh, yeah. Like a all kind of thing. Yeah. But, but they'll have, but they'll have like three or four different um, businesses that they actually have one kitchen. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, and you go in and you order from the window that you want, you know, mm -hmm. the business that you want to order from. I can't, what do they call that? They call that something, right? Like a food hall. Yeah, it's kind of a food hall, but there's no place to sit and eat. There's also the something kitchens, they call them, where they're like, they do delivery for several different restaurants out of one kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Or you can go in and pick it up, but yeah. yeah. But it's all ordered online. There's nobody really to talk to, or <laughs> no place to sit and eat, or or any of that. It's. Uh, yeah, I heard that there was a Starbucks up in Libertyville. We were with some friends up having dinner up there, and there's a Starbucks that had been there for like 25 years that had closed, 
but they open one a couple blocks away that's a drive through this was like in the corner like in the that main drag of yeah like, i remember that starbucks across the street from uh, the mexican place there yeah well it's closed and they open down the street but it's a drive through place and uh, i haven't looked into this but the friends we were dining with and walking down the street with said yeah that starbucks is only opening stores where they have a drive through so i don't know if that's even in urban areas too or whatever but they said that yeah they're they're closing those and opening the drive through ones and and only opening new ones with drive throughs well um are the drive through do they have a place where you can go in and sit or are they strictly drive through I, I i think everyone i've seen still you can go inside but that that they won't open one that doesn't have a drive through though is what they're saying. Yeah. Well, I thought I thought that that had been true for a while, actually. Well, I mean, I think that's been true for a while, except for maybe like in an well, urban area. they're opening. They, you know, none of them do. But I, like I said, I don't know if that's they've closed a lot of those too. So I don't know if that's the case. Well, they and, opened up. There's a relatively new Starbucks at the corner of Irving and Ashland that doesn't that does not have a drive-through, um, and that's only been open a couple of years, maybe. If, if that, I mean, it's relatively. Yeah, this would have been a this would have been a new directive anyway since COVID. So, yeah. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm sure that that one was open before COVID. Probably like eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that long ago. Definitely not that long. Well, probably longer than I think. <laughs> <laughs> that that that's that's. Things are changing what everything's changing the times they are but, changing. but i but i think in the suburbs they haven't opened one without a drive-through in probably 10 or 15 years in the burbs yeah, but, but it's different too that they're closing locations when they get a drive-through opportunity so they're actually closing ones that actually i stopped in at the starbucks at the uh, corner of uh, lincoln damon and irving you know well, well it's actually north of that intersection but on lincoln Right, it's just a few doors north of that, but um, I hadn't been in there. I used to go in there all the time, of course, because I used to be at that Baird and Warner office across the street. Um, but I hadn't been in there in ages, and that one is a reserve. They call that a Starbucks reserve now. But um, they 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 didn't have a lot of tables in there. They used to have way more tables. Um, and I asked her, I said, oh, so you're a reserve now? And then she's like, well, we used to sell some of the coffee here. So I wasn't, I was a little confused by that if they don't do the whole reserve thing with the pour overs and. Well, and not all of the reserves. So that it's different than the reserve and roastery like down to, like on Michigan Avenue, but the reserves before had different reserve coffee and then they had that clover machine that you right that's that? yeah that's what i'm talking about i don't think that one has that machine they didn't have the clover yeah right. yeah. Um, yeah but it's not a pour over it's like an automated like robot thing yeah well right yeah right 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 yeah um actually the one that we used to go to when we lived over in north park um that one um peter's it's on well, that's also Lincoln, just north of Peterson in the shopping mall there, you know, where the Panera Bread is. Yeah. Uh, that one used to have a clover machine, but I haven't I haven't been in there since before COVID. So I don't know, because we moved out, you know, during co in March of 20. So when I was at um, on showings in Evanston up there a couple of weeks ago, is it a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls that's in that center there off McCormick? I think that's a TJ Maxx. So I've never been in there, but I was showing and the the listing agent was there who lived in the area and brought up about how the proximity to that location and that store. And she said, you know, it's the best. I can't again, I can't, I, I thought it was Marshall's, but it may be TJ Maxx. She said it's the best one in the whole region. And my client, the wife, was like, Oh my God, I love that one, blah, blah. And they went on and on about how that was <laughs> completely different. It's really big and they carry all the designer stuff there. Oh. And it was like, I thought they were all the same. I didn't realize that. I've, were I've never been in one. Uh, hold on, I'll look it up here I'll, while we're talking. You keep talking, I'm looking it up. 
<laughs> anyway, but yeah. So whatever, if anybody's interested, that uh, I didn't know that was a thing, but I guess that one up at, off McCormick, and I guess that would, uh, I think it's I think that would be Skokie at that point. Uh, well, that's that. What do they call that? That Skokie. Uh... Skokie or whatever. But I think it's actually in Skokie there, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I think it's Skokie. Okay. Uh, there's a there's a there in that Lincoln Village where I was talking. There's a there's a TJ Maxx too. Okay. That one. Uh, wait a minute. Well, isn't that the same one? Doesn't it go all the way? Isn't it really big and goes all the way up to um, off like McCormick where the theaters are and there's the Red Lobster? No, and... no, 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 no. I thought no, that they're... was all connected. No, 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 no. They're different. Um, no, no, no. They're very different. No, definitely not. Well, what you're talking about is the one off McCormick. Yeah. Well, now I've got Northbrook and Lake Forest and <laughs> hold, on, hold on here a minute. I'm like messed up here. Okay, Lincoln Village. I don't need I'm not even sure that one in Lincoln Village is still there, is it? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, here it is. 3337 Golf Road. That sounds right. Okay, let me let me McCormick. Because it's it's golf and McCormick there, and is it a TJ Maxx or Marshalls? It's a TJ Maxx. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's the one. It's a TJ Maxx. Okay. At the, at the intersection of uh, McCormick and uh, and um, Golf Road there. All right. Well, the skinny is that's the best one there ever was. <laughs> Some, uh, some designer is there one down in that river isn't there one down there at that river point down on fullerton and um yeah what is that elston no um clyborne sort of yeah sort of yeah between between Cly on the river bank there between um clyborne and elston well they're all over but evidently this one is different so and my clients were from the city so they go all the way up there to go oh, to that. Huh, interesting. Well, that, that's been there forever. I mean, that's been there as long as I can remember. Yeah. yeah. It's probably been there 40, 50 years, hmm. I think. But yeah, what do they call that little pocket up there? It's kind of Skokie Evanston. Mm -hmm. Did your clients buy over there? Uh, no, I was actually showing what for somebody else who was out of the country, but. Oh, uh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, my 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 clients, uh, they ended up buying over there. Well, we looked at a few things over there. They ended up buying a property on Church, which is that little pocket over there, but north. Um, yeah, and I think they actually have their, they have a Skokie address, but they have Evanston uh, services, like fire department and water. And, mm -hmm. Or if I got that the other way around, is it a... Evanston address and they have Skokie service anyway whatever <laughs> whatever <laughs> so okay so that's our good stuff for today we're all about <laughs> TJ Maxx and Starbucks and <laughs> Dutch brothers and Dutch brothers yeah so good well the weather here today is is gorgeous oh, what yeah I see that very fun um it and we had a beautiful weekend it's in the 50s here it was in the 50s over the weekend and sunny oh, nice. so you should have stayed in town because I, it sounds like we're having nicer weather <laughs> well, it was 78 here and sunny yesterday so oh wow goodness yeah. are you uh, laying out are you laying out by the pool yesterday i did and then i went to the uh the hot tub too for the first time so that was nice yeah. Nice. Well, good. All right. Well, enjoy your vacay and uh, we yeah. will convene again next week. Sounds good. Have a good week. I can't.